a question like this, um, and you are asked to write the equilibrium constant for this particular reaction, how do you go about it? Okay. Now, equilibrium constant, which is K, can either be KC or KP. Now, this KC here means equilibrium constant for concentration, while this KP means equilibrium constant for pressure, just as you can see, C and P. Now, there are conditions. If you want to write for KC, you consider both gases and um, dissolved species, which is a chaos in this case. Now, if you are writing for KP, you consider what? Gases only. I don't know if you, you must have heard something like, oh, um, gases, um, pressure only affect gases, right? So here, that same thing works, that if you want to write equilibrium constant for pressure, you only consider gases only. And also note that we don't write for what? For solid and uh, liquid. So when you see something like solid air or liquid and or whatsoever, you don't write equilibrium constant for them. It is assumed to be one. So now in this question, okay, now they did not um, um, dictate which one to write. Is it K, C, or K, P? In this question, you just write for K, which means K here will be equivalent to K, C, unless stated otherwise. So K here is equivalent to K, C. Now you must also note that K in itself is the, let's, let me give you an hypothetical reaction, for instance. Let's say I give you A plus B to give C plus D. Now this is gas, 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 gas. And there's a coefficient of small letter A, coefficient of small letter B, coefficient of small letter C, coefficient, coefficient of small letter D. Now the K for this particular reaction, the K, in this case, which can be KC or KP. Why? Because the state of this hypothetical um, substance or reaction is in gaseous state. So the K here will just be the concentration, these two brackets, OAU you ask it in one of the positions here, it means concentration. Concentration. So the concentration of C raised to the power to the coefficient, please note, it is multiplication, not addition. So the concentration of D raised to the power D over the concentration of A raised to the power A multiplied by the concentration of B raised to the power what? B, which means Hypothetically, it just means product, the concentration of the product over the concentration of the what? Reactant. So this is actually proven by the law of mass action. The law of what? Mass action. So this is K. Now, coming to this question, it's very easy, but you have to just understand this. Note this, and also what? Note this. If you know this, then you are good to go. All right, so imagine this reaction. I will solve one, then I will expect to solve the second one. Okay, now you are giving this hypothetical reaction. Now, this is an hypothetical reaction. There's no actual substance, right? No actual element. Now, M and the state of um, gaseous state, then N at this solid state, C liquid, then D at aqueous. Then I ask you, or Jam asks you to write the KC or KP for this particular reaction. How do you go about it? Now, based on what I've said earlier, now, K for this reaction, which is KC, I already told you, we consider both gases and dissolved species. Now, it will just be, which one is gas or dissolved? And this is the product side, and this is the reactant side. So, this is liquid, and this is aqueous. So, I will write for D, because, raised power D, because that's the only aqueous here, and there's no gas. What of C? You don't write it. It is considered to be one. Okay, so now, here, I only have M, raised power what? M, because that's the only gaseous state, right? S is solid. You don't write equilibrium constant for, us, for this. So this is the answer to this question. For KC, now, right, what is KP? What is KP? Let me see the answer to this in the comment section. So what is KP? Of course, you know that for KP, we only consider gases only. Gases only. So drop your answer in the comment section. See you. Thank you.